strategy for sustainable development. The civil society pre-budget dialogue centralized the question, will the budget of financial year 2022-2023 address economic recovery, inclusive growth and safeguarding livelihoods? According to the commissioner budget, Mugona Mweru Ismail, budget estimates are affected by supplementary requests. As a minister, we are trying to see how we can minimize supplementaries. There are, of course, supplementaries are in the constitution as a way of financing unforeseen or unforeseeable expenditures. The government has now put a cap on supplementary requests. So for us to be able to manage that, they must be in a certain level. What are those not, not more than 3% of the previous budget. Those, I think, are part of what we can finance uh, within the means that we have. But anything beyond that becomes a problem. In November last year, Finance Ministry tabled a supplementary budget of over 3.8 trillion before Parliament to address supplementary requests. The ministry says streamlining estimates will address the budgetary shortfalls. Budget discipline will then enhance clearing off of domestic debt. One of, of course is better, better planning and better budgeting because uh, we are aware that uh, what ministries do is they don't put money on the priorities. So that when implementation starts and they raise a supplementary for those priorities, then government is forced to, to look for that money. So better planning and better budgeting will help. The ministry is benchmarking strategic industries to boost domestic collections. And I also want to say that more are programmed next financial year. And these are focusing mainly on commercial agriculture. Of course, recognizing that the parish development model is a vehicle, in spite of the slight challenges that we have to kickstart it. We are looking at industrialization, uh, market access, and digital transformation. Magona is also aware of the importance of recapitalizing the central bank. We are committed to paying the arrears, domestic arrears, uh, but also we have put in place some funds. Of course, the agricultural credit facility is, uh, has been there. So what we could do is if the uptake improves, then we can also, you know, make sure that we improve. Because as you know, the money for agricultural credit facility, just like the Small Businesses Recovery Fund, is partly financed by government, but also partly financed by the, the banks. For government to assert control, it needs to rein in on financial discipline in agencies, says Julius Mukanda, Executive Director, Civil Society Budget Advocacy Group. Recovery Fund is so small, 200, 200, 200 billion. We think it should be doubled, have a proper effect. We are also saying that the proposed parish model, which is a very good idea, we need to be prepared as a country to implement it. Because if you don't invest in the preparedness, then you are likely to, you are planning to fail from the beginning. So we want government to have, to have a prepared, uh, a, ro a very proper roadmap on how we're going to implement the, this good parish model. And Eve Masawi, CTV, PM Edition.